Hi, my name is John. Welcome to a really untidy workshop. The workshop's normally reasonably tidy, at least a bit the camera points at is. At the minute, it's absolutely upside down. I've just uploaded a video uh, reviewing a mist spray system uh, for the milling machine, and all I've done is move where I've got a car bought a little small compressor and I've moved one or two things around to put the compressor where I wanted and this is what I've ended up with it's absolutely unbelievable uh, the amount of stuff I've had to move just to make one little thing I suppose that's what happens when you've got a, a really small workshop with a hell of a lot of it's stuff in it right on with tonight's nightcap in tonight's nightcap I'll show some more of the copper boy I build actually get a hydraulic test on this which doesn't sort of go as I expected, but I'll show it anyway. And I also make a start on making some of the little fittings for the boiler. These bits here, that's, I mean, I could buy the fittings, but I'm gonna make all my own clack valves and whatnot. I did buy a water gauge for it, but the rest of them I'm gonna make myself. This is what started all of the, the chaos, finding a home for this little compressor. It's a little Bambi air compressor I bought secondhand. There's a couple of videos on the Patreon channel uh, showing what I had to do to, to get it working but that's where that's living and the rest of the workshop is just unbelievable it really is I've got to get myself in here and get this sorted out this week I cannot work in this that's the cause of it all a spray cooling system which by the way is really good I've had the boiler soaking in the pickle all night it's cleaned up really nice all these joints look really good, nice fine joints. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna tap through all these holes just to make sure all the flux is out, which it certainly appears to be. The plan is to put some blanks in here, and before hydraulic gets, I'm gonna put some air pressure into it. Uh, just to, if it has got a leak, it saves having to fill it and drain it. And so we've got some quarter BSP blanks with doughty washers on them. I'm going to plug my shop airline straight into there. I've got the pressure knocked down to 50 psi on the regulator. Right, this is pissing out somewhere. It's got a massive leak on it. I wasn't expecting that. This end, I think, the last thing I was expecting was a leak. The last thing. It is literally pissing out somewhere. That's it there. It's leaking from that one rivet there. There's no solder on the bottom of it. The amount of heat I had on there, and it still leaked. Maybe you can see it under there. There's no solder in it. The rest of it's absolutely splendid but it's obviously a, a point there so it's a case of resoldering that little area there everywhere else is good you can see all the solders come through the through the rivets so they the solders come through the rivets so they're now all sealed in nicely but it doesn't come through that bastard right once again we'll warm it up that's the offending one there, we'll get some flux onto it. Incredible the way this is pulling heat away. The 
to do it. This is now full of compressed air and there's nothing leaking. This is soapy water, if it was leaking it would be bubbling and frothing. We'll have a look at the other end. Just to make sure I haven't disturbed anything. Yeah, it looks all right. Next thing is to fill it with water and put a hydraulic test on it. Well, it all looks good. Right, the boiler is now full of water. Put some more water in until it comes out of there, which is the highest point on the boiler. Just about there. Right, so that now is totally full of water. moment of truth need some more water on me pump okay. I want to run this it 150 psi max and the test pressure is one and a half times that I'm going to take it at twice so I'll take it at 300 and then I know it's, it can run at 150 quite easily if anything fails here all you get is a squirt of water that's why you do it hydraulically there's no catastrophic failures. So it's at 300. We'll let it sit for a while, dry it out, and just make sure I've got no leaks and it doesn't appear to be leaking anywhere. Pressure will drop slightly because the check valve in there does bypass a little bit. I don't know what pressure this will actually take to burst it. But it will be a lot. It's looking good. I'm going to get me a little propane torch and just dry it off with a flame just to make sure. But it, uh, it is looking good. <laughs> 